Hi there. So we just arrived at um, the Golden Sands Dawlish Park Holidays uh, Caravan Park. Uh, it's got some bad reviews online, so I thought I'd do a fair review. A lot of them are attacking the um, attacking the caravan, so I thought I'd just show you around. I'm actually quite shocked how nice it is. Here's the outside. This is bronze accommodation, in case you're wondering. And let's have a look inside. Knock, knock. Hi, where's Marnie? Money. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay. Doing a little. Doing a little. Hot water's not working. I'll sort that in a minute, don't worry. Hot water's not working. We're going to start in the living area. Here we have. What do we have, man? This. We've got some nice curtains. It's all very clean in here. Uh, we found the bin. Not empty though, so that's not good. Haven't tried a TV yet. Um, we've got some shelves. Got some nice shelves. Um, hey, you got some. These might be good for my books. Well, yeah. Don't get too comfy. We're only here a weekend. Yeah, smile at the smile at the mirror. It's us. Hang on. Hang on. Let's zoom I in. Got Jojo Yay! Yeah, weird table. Yeah, we've got the nice little corner piece here. There's a waste paper basket, that's good, at least we've got one that's clean. Come out here, we've got the little sinky kitchen thing. All very nice laminated floors. Um, what have we got here, babes? Um, the sink. There's a sink and a microwave. And a really cool And a kettle thing. and a toaster. The toaster looks like This is bronze accommodation. We've got a nice little fridge. Oh, that's very nice and clean. Um, where should we go now? Let's go to the bedrooms. No, let's do the, yeah, the, let's do the bathrooms. Here, here we've got, so we've actually got two bathrooms. Can I use yeah, plural? So got a little shower. Um, oh, quite a big shower. That's not bad. There's two new toothbrushes. Two new toothbrushes. Yeah, we, we supplied yeah. them, man. No one and else. And some toothpaste. Mm-hmm, toothpaste. Caution, I've hot water. Apparently we've got problems with the hot water, which I'll try in a minute. And I've got some frozen toothpaste. Awesome. Okay. And Not much one. one. Disgusting one. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a tiny little box one, but you know, we're, we're okay. Um, it's an addition. I didn't expect it. The room with your feet underneath the cupboards. It's, um, I think we're living out of a bag this week. Because there's only three of us, isn't there? Yeah. Um, it's too and long. I'm going to show you my room. Okay. Oh, first, the right side, I suppose. What it is? So I have been. Hang on. Start. Where's the light? The, the lights. Wardrobe. The master wardrobe. Why? Right, right. What you can hide in. <laughs> okay, we've got the. Got, got the bed. Is this is this a sturdy bed? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I think they're trying out the shower in there. Yeah. So a quick look out the window. Mm, we're actually right close to the clubhouse here. So. Loud in Marnie's room. So yeah. No. Marnie, no. Marnie, Marnie, it's fine. It's fine. No one cares. No one cares. Get out of here. There's Prince Hans. Okay. Where's Wally Book? What's in here then? Is that? Uh, my your little wardrobe. Have you got your stuff in. Okay, making yourself at home, it's fine. Mm. Okay, with the carpets, not bad. Um, and there we are. That is what you can expect from a bronze accommodation at Park Holidays Golden Sands in Dawlish, Dawlish Warren. It's, it's rather nice, I suppose, isn't it? I'm pleasantly surprised. Some of the reviews online were were horrible. Hmm. Do you like it then? Yes. What are we gonna do today? Um, what are we doing today, man? Gonna hang um, out in the caravan. Yes. It's foggy as hell out um, there, and it might rain. A like bit. it um, might be a tornado and a storm. Um, there. It looks really small from the outside, but it's massive. In the it's inside. like a Tardis. They've given us a Tardis caravan. Yeah. Oh my god. Like it's tinsel, right? I know. Outside. Well, in the inside, it's massive. I know, it's mental, isn't it? Yeah. It defies the laws of physics. 
And um, yeah, so far so good. And there's a nice mirror. And there's a nice mirror. Yay! You don't always listen to the reviews. TripAdvisor gives this place bad reviews, but you know, I think it's all right. As long as we get the water sorted, because that looks a bit iffy at the moment, we'll see. I'll oh, check back later. Look at this. Maybe it's not the five star review at all. We just found a bucket absolutely chock full of water down here. And a leaky boiler. Leak. Leak. No, that's not good at all. That's really piss poor, actually. All right, should we call maintenance out? I'm not happy about that bucket full of water, because what happens when that overflows? Well, the boiler's fixed. The nice man come out and fix it for us. And the TV was dead. So he literally went out and got a new TV. Just doing a little review of the actual Golden Sands because um, I don't think it's got a good rap on TripAdvisor at all. Well, we don't know yet, do we? No, I'm doing an update. All right, this is negative. So, so far, everything's all right. Sort of. Isn't it, Gnome? Mm. What's the matter? Nothing. She's not happy about the boiler because we're going to all get carbon, carbon monoxide. But yeah, the TV's working, the boiler's on, and everything's fine. So it's a new day. Okay, night's nice sleep, not bad. No other calamities in the caravan, anyway. Um, this is now going to turn into a tutorial of how to fix a broken wind... Uh, not windscreen, a broken sunroof on a Mitsubishi Galant. <music> Basically, when we were driving up uh, yesterday, we had a big crash. We figured, I don't know, a pine cone or something had fallen on the car. Or a tire had blown, that's how big it was. Uh, it wasn't until late last night we actually realised what had happened. And apparently on the way up, my beloved Mitsubishi has suffered a calamity. <sighs> so anyway, I've been driving around today trying to find a hardware store. We have some tarpaulin, we have some silicone, we have some duct tape. There's not a problem in this world duct tape can't solve. So, we'll see how this goes. Duct tape and mastic. Insulated with top oil. We're getting there. I don't know if it's a while, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I learned everything I know from Mythbusters. The final result. Hopefully waterproof enough. Ah. <sighs> That's a leaky waste pipe adjacent to us. Lovely. Well, it all started well. Uh, things just got real. I'm not going to do an internet rant. I'm beyond them. I've done some in the past. <coughs> the trouble is, I don't understand why you'd employ people who treat people like that. I don't get it. I, on the basis of that one prick in the bar, which I'll tell you about shortly, I am never coming back here again. Okay, I've calmed down now. I'm in a tranquil place. Now let's tell you about what just happened down the clubhouse. No, me. Should we tell them about what happened in the clubhouse? Yeah, you tell them. Should we tell them? No, me. What? What did you and Marnie do in the arcade where nothing bloody works? By the way, the change machine was out of action all day yesterday. But you put money into these things and nothing comes out of them ever. What did you do to the motorbike game, now? Put a pound in. Done what? Put a pound in. And it didn't work. So what did we do? What did we do? We didn't do anything. There was a little girl on the site. Did you get her name? No. I didn't. Anyway, she was a little girl and she come. She tried to befriend us. She come along and said, "I'll go and get the manager." And she spent about 20 minutes disappearing, going back, and she kept saying, oh, the manager won't do it, the manager won't do it, the manager won't give you your money back. Did she come back in the end? Who? The little girl. Yeah. And what did she say? She said the man, he won't do it. Why wouldn't he do it? I don't know, because we've seen the bloke walk back. Yeah, well, this is the funny thing. Uh, it wasn't then that we didn't know this little girl was with. She was about 10? Yeah. About 10. And this guy started literally having an argument with her, screaming at her. In the arcade, and I thought, oh my god, like, yeah, that's her dad. He's angry. And I thought, okay. Then she walked up. This guy stormed off. I figured that's her dad. And she walked up to us and said, that's the manager. He won't give you your money back. 
I couldn't f believe it. Right. What happened then, eh? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, go on. What happened then? Um, you tell him. I'm trying to, but I'm just getting irate. It's not doing my blood pressure any good. I'm going to give myself a hernia if I carry on like this. Right. Okay, compose yourself. So, we went to the bar. What's the bar called? It's, this is a clubhouse. We went to the bar, the entertainment's bit, and we asked um, some nice guy in the bar called... What's his name? Ryan. What? Ryan. Now, Ryan was nice, wasn't he? Yeah. Can we all give Ryan a nice big thumbs up? Because Ryan was awesome. And Ryan, if you're watching this, you're awesome. You are very nice, and this has got nothing to do with you, and you helped us a great deal, so thank you well, very much. Right, it's a man. It's not like... If a little boy's watching this and he's called Ryan, it's not anyone. No, it's not just anyone called Ryan. If you're Ryan and you work at uh, Golden Sands Park Holidays, it's probably you. And he had piercing, didn't he? Like in his nose or his ear or something. Where was it? In his mouth. In his mouth. So Ryan, who works at this holiday camp with a piercing in your mouth, you're awesome. And there should be more like you here. So I just want to put a, one more shout out to Ryan, one more thumbs up. Can we get a more thumbs up for Ryan? Okay, because this is not about Ryan. Ryan, this isn't about you. This is about Jerome. Or is it Jerome? Jerome. Jerome or Jerome? Jerome. Jerome, I don't know. We didn't quite get that. Um, he didn't, Jerome. He, we, didn't, we didn't get his last name. We're going to call him Jerome. Should we just call him Jerry? <laughs> Jez. No, Jerome. Anyway, Jerome. Jerome. No. Shush. We're calling him Jerome. We're calling him Jerome. I'll, I'll, I'll make the last bit sort of different. Oh, we're calling him Moan. Moan. Jamone. <laughs> No, we won't call him that. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, so Ryan said, okay, you want this guy over here, you want Jerome. And we turned around, and it was only the guy who was shouting at this little girl in the restaurant, um, in the in the arcade. So then what happened there? Come on, come on, more input from you. Uh, I'm trying to think what happened there. We well, don't have to be completely cruel. Cr Nay, I'm trying to get you into my YouTube channels. The best way to do it is with an angry rant. Um, Come on. I'm, I'm no good at angry rounds. Well, oh, so you just oh are you bollocks? I get one every day. You get angry enough for both of us. Okay, okay. The large puppy! Okay. Anyway, Jerome came up to us and... What's the best way to describe it? Snapped and sneered? With a bit of leering. And very, <laughs> very uncouth mannerisms, Jerome, if you're watching. <laughs> you, you're wrong, you, yeah. Jerome, Jerome, you need some serious, serious help. Uh, you don't speak to people the way you speak. Well, it's not the way. How would you describe that? What you done to us? Come on, though. It's just rude. He done it to you. It was just downright rude. Yeah. He literally went, "Oh, for God's sake! If you're gonna put a pound in, and it doesn't come out. You don't put more pounds in." And it's like, well, we didn't do that. We put one pound in. Okay. Oh, is that what he said? I yeah. didn't really hear him. He was... Yeah, he was saying that. So obviously he's had more complaints about none of the effing machines working. So, and then he goes, all right, I'll give you your money back this time. And he literally just took it out of the thing. He didn't, no eye contact at all, seriously. And just bang, right in Nomi's hand. We said, thank you. Thanks, Jerome. We didn't say Jerome. Didn't we bang we didn't know Jerome. He, we didn't call him Jerome. He banged my girlfriend's hand <laughs> with a pound. <laughs> he banged and pounded her hand. Marnie's gonna de demonstrate. Go on, do a demonstrate. You be Jerome, and I'll be Mummy. <laughs> Thank you, Jerome. Well, yeah, it was that bad. It was. Okay. Anyway, Jerome, you're a f asshole. <gasps> asshole. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping to get some footage of Jerome tonight because I've, I've got I got word that he is is the duty manager, and there's two duty managers on tonight, and we've been told. Uh, by by um, Ryan that we can go down and complain to the other duty manager tonight so, but I don't know if we're going to do that I think I'm just going to write one of my special letters if you ever had one of my special letters you'll know there's something to fear anyway so we're going to go down tonight and hopefully if I can get some footage of Jerome he, I would have put Jerome Jerome yes you keep calling Jerome what, that's a name I don't know if we get any, if we get any footage, footage of Jerry I'll play it now <laughs> Okay, Jerome. this is Jerry. This is a guy you want to avoid if you come to Golden Sands Jerome. Park Holidays. He's an absolute f***ing <laughs> awful. Okay. 
Seriously, on a serious, I'm trying to lighten this up now because I'm trying not to let it ruin the holiday. This was going okay. There, there are cracks in this caravan showing, okay? Um, we can and um, our roof got smashed by someone. Yeah, we can't blame park holidays for smashing our sunroof, can we? <laughs> like, um, someone has done thing hit our car. So, yeah, I've I, I done this earlier in the video. It's irrelevant to the rant, Marnie, okay? <laughs> it's completely irrelevant to Jerome. Perhaps it was him. He might have thrown the brick in your room. Did he? Has he been after us this whole time? <laughs> anyway, let's let's be serious now. From my, we are we are we are just patrons. We are mere holiday campers. We come here on a cheap holiday, and we're just trying the park out and enjoying Devon. It's very Devon's very lovely, even in this time. It's very lovely. Yeah, it okay, but it's absolute dick <laughs> like Jerome who have ruined this. Okay, the caravan isn't perfect. Okay, the bin. We arrived. The bin was full. We've used sanitary deposits in it. The uh, the the boiler was overloaded, uh, overflowing. Uh, we had we got a bucket full of water and then no one's emptied. Every time we turn the heating on, we can smell gas. Is that right? I don't think so. There's a leaky sewage pipe over in the next caravan, dripping onto my car tires. And now Jerome. Um, I'm the uh, Jerome. The what? Yeah, we got. Bloody ladybird infestation! We have literally across this windowsill and all around the ca caravan, we have found ladybirds every day. Every and time. The I'm not joking. There's, there's been about a hundred ladybirds in all different colours. I don't know if they're breeding mutant ladybirds here, but, but they're bloody them everywhere. Dad, yeah, should I tell them what colours? Yeah, go on. Tell so them the colours. There was a black one with red spots. Mhm. Mm well, really a few. Yeah, go on. Um, there was a red one with black spots. Yeah. Um, and there's an orange one with black spots. Well, shit. Anyway. Let's hope we don't blow up. Well, yeah, I'm more worried about the gas, I can smell. But in general, the caravan seemed okay. The the site is pretty low rent, okay? The entertainment last night was the sort of thing you'd expect from a holiday camp. It was all right. We haven't tried the food because everyone seemed to be avoiding it. Uh, the park was out of commission. We went down to the the park and it was like a springy thing and that was it. Um, what else have we done here? Um, and the park was only for five year olds. Right? Swimming? I don't know how anyone's still alive in that swimming pool with all the bombing that's going on in there. Seriously, it's mental. There were two complaints down there when we were in the pool earlier. Um, it seems to be a, a thing. You're allowed to dive in. That's mental. It was like a full pool full of people and kids were getting bombed by adults. It's wrong, people, and it's not health and safety. Anything else you want to wind about? It started off as a good video, but Jerome, you've yes. kind of f***ed all that up, haven't you? <laughs> you know, it's just amazing what one person with no social skills can do to the whole reputation of a place. Because of that, this dick, we will never be coming back here again. Okay? I can see why the whole caravan site's empty and you're worthy of your two-star review on TripAdvisor. I see why now. It's because of Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome! <laughs> it's Jerome! We haven't had a lot of interaction with the staff here, have we? No, they all seem not. Nice. But uh, the guy who fixed the boiler was lovely. Ryan? Ryan was cool. We like Ryan. That piercing looked painful though. Yeah. Can you, how'd you eat with that? It's mental. Um, you know, the, the people in the reception were lovely. Lovely. Um, but no, just one, this one person with no social skills who spoke to us like this. Anyway, what we're going to do, we don't generally complain on the spot. I go home and pen a nice letter and shoot lovely YouTube videos. As you've probably seen. As, well, yeah. Here's one right now. So... I just want to say I would not recommend this place because I'm not saying it's this one guy. If they're employing people like that, there's probably others like it too. If your if your standards aren't high with customer care, you don't speak to customers like that. You don't speak to little kids like that. It's mental. I'm going to shut up now. You get the point, okay? Jerome, you've pissed us off a treat and we're never coming back because of you. Yes, we are. Not here, we're not. We'll go up the road to Dawlish Sands or whatever the hell it is. Dawlish thingy, yeah. Lady... Ma... 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 Lady Niles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can go... It's not like you're the only one to choose from, seriously, and, honestly. Um, that one's better because it, I think, has a hotel and it has indoor and outdoor swimming. 
the swimming pool, mm. and in the indoor swimming pool, there's a slide, outdoor swimming pool, there's a slide. Indeed. So yeah, there's a big staff problem. If you look on TripAdvisor, there's a lot of people whining about the staff, and um, I, I thought, okay, you know, and it, this is beginning a season. Uh, they've been open a week. It's not busy here at all. And if this is the way they can, they handle pressure of a pound getting stuck in a motorcycle machine, then Jesus Christ, I wouldn't want to be here in July. Anyway, I'm signing off now. You've ruined everything, Jerome. Thank you very Jerome. much. You've ruined everything, Jerome. Go f yourself. Okay, so this has been a strange video. It started off as a um, a caravan review or a campsite review. Well, maybe a caravan review, really, because we weren't intended to use the campsite. I just wanted to counteract some of the, the bad press they had on TripAdvisor, etc. So, you know, I thought, okay, it started off as that. And it turned into a car repair video. And then it turned into an angry internet rant video. And now what we've done now is um, I've just been writing a nice letter to Mr. Jeffrey Seals of, uh, he's the CEO of Park Holidays. Um, I thought, yeah, this was actually serious enough to go to the CEO. Okay, you don't beat around. When it's things like this and there's people like that acting like that, in a holiday camp for the kids, it's not right. It doesn't sit well with me at all. So there's a letter on its way to Mr. Sills. Um, so it's now turned into a park holidays. How do they how do they react to a proper complaint? I mean, this is a serious complaint here. I'll put it in five pages of A4, and I'm sending it recorded delivery tomorrow. And we're only about a week later now. I've just been busy, so I haven't been able to do it sooner. So it'll be interesting to see how they um, come back to me on this one. So yeah, it's, the video's morphed again. It's now a customer service review of Park Holidays. So I'll give him, I don't know, we'll give him a couple of weeks and see what happens. I'll check back with you in a couple of weeks. Okay, so we're a couple of weeks later now. It took him about two weeks to respond. Okay, um, you know, that's not bad, well, so I thought I'd read you the letter in its entirety because you can tell a lot about a company from its customer services and, you know, after the fat letters and customer complaints, you know, I take, you know, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Dear Mr. Parks, it's me, I have today been in a meeting with Mr. Seals who has personally, as the area manager, asked me to investigate your complaint popped off already, but hey, I didn't expect the CEO to actually respond to me personally, but you know. Firstly, I would like to start by apologising for the service you have brought to our attention. Here at Park Holidays, we do pride ourselves on ensuring that we provide a family-friendly atmosphere. Jeez. And deliver guest training to all our guest training. To all our teams, to, to that end, we see guests coming back year after year. Mm. I have read your complaint in detail and also, and also have planned a meeting with the general manager to whom I have asked to start an investigation into this matter. Uh, investigation into this matter. This investigation will include both speaking to the members of staff on duty uh, that day and also will include a review of both CCTV we also have. Include the preview of CCTV. Okay, right, yeah, mm -hmm, okay. I will also look at the evidence myself in connection to your complaint and ensure you that the appropriate action is taken as we take matters as these very seriously. He's doing it himself. This guy is doing it. Simon Lewis is doing it himself. I'm, I'm impressed. He's the area manager, by the way, so, well, Cy, Cy Lewis. Unfortunately, I cannot advise the level of action that will be taken as this would breach the private and confidentiality that we hold in our employees. I didn't ask to see evidence of the tribunal, okay? I didn't ask for that. Uh, that's perfectly normal. But I'll get to what that put. It sort of puzzles me that they even mentioned that. It's almost as if to say, you know, don't expect the follow up to this letter of any sort. Uh, we're just sweeping it under the carpet. I would personally, I would like to personally apologise to you and thank you for bringing this matter to our attention so that we can ensure this does not happen again. I do hope that you will not be deterred from utilising our parks in the future. Jeez. Yours sincerely, Simon Lewis, area manager, park holiday, Alright, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a, 
relatively hard to play. It's the area manager, so I don't know. Does that letter really sound like they're gonna do anything? Um, because he's covered himself by saying he can't follow the letter up, which I didn't expect. But the fact that he said that, it's like sort of covering himself. Like, You're gonna hear nothing more of this. So I don't know. I don't know if this is a di if they're actually gonna look into this, or whether this is just a fob off letter. Uh, what we call in the trade, fob off letter. I don't know. Maybe they've taken it seriously, maybe they haven't. The thing is, we'll never know, and they've pretty much told us we'll never know. So, you know, whatever. So, people, I have decided, I've, I've held my horses for this letter to um, decide whether I'm going to even upload this video. But, bollocks, we're going to upload it. I don't mean it in any malicious sort of way. I, I genuinely think, as a parent, um, I'd want to know if there were people acting this aggressive around my kids. I, it's, it, like I said in the last bit, it doesn't sit right with me. It, it's creepy, it's, it's not right. Um, the way he berated this poor little girl, um, it, it was, oh man, it was just wrong. It was just wrong on so many levels. I mean, speaking to us like that is one thing, but, but a little kid, nine, ten year old, it's, oh man, it's just wrong. If that was my daughter, and I don't want to know. Oh, I don't want to be warned about this, okay? So I don't want to mention the guy's name again. You all know his name by now. Um, Take a look if if you're staying there, okay? If he, if he's still working there, I'm sure he is. Um, just be wary, okay? I, I don't mean this in any malicious way. This is me giving an honest review of what I thought of this place. Um, just you know, I'd want to be warned about this sort of behaviour. Check, you know, just keep an eye on on your kids. Uh, who they're around. Um, if this could be an isolated incident of one member of staff. I don't know. Uh, it could be it could be multiple members of staff think this is normal. I don't know. I just don't know. So just keep an eye out. You know, just be, I'd be wary in this park. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. So park holidays. We're not coming back. Um, what can I say? It uh, it has it has deterred me from utilising your parks in future. Completely and utterly. Um, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's it's wrong. It's not just bad customer service. This is just horrible to watch. And uh, it's, anyway, I don't want to rant any longer. This started. This video has morphed enough. I will not will not reckon, recommend park holidays uh, for multiple reasons. The main one being the staff interaction we had with this guy. Not all the staff, as I said, but um, um I, I don't know. This just seems like a follow off letter to me. But hey, we'll see. You know, if um, you have any trouble, like I did, leave it in the comments. I'll be interested to know how this follows up. Uh, if this was an isolated incident, who knows. But hey, what can I say? This is my honest opinion. Uh, this is an honest video. This is my honest review of park holidays. I would not touch them with a 50 foot cattle prod. No, no, no. So thank you for watching. I'm sorry this has turned into a bit internet randy. And um, hey, what can I say? Butlins all the way, I think.